Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. This is going to be my top five favorite crystal oracle decks. So these are the most used decks that I use and I would highly recommend. So the first crystal deck I have to show you in my top five is the Daily Crystal Inspiration deck by Heva Askanisi. By Heva Askanisi. So this is a 52 card deck. Now I have to say this is like the best crystal backing of a card I have ever seen. I mean look how detailed and beautiful every single crystal is on this card. Like multiple crystals. Like it's just the best. It is the best crystal backing I've ever seen. <laughs> so anyways. What I love about these cards is they're very clear because the the cards are white so as you can see you're really zooming in on that beautiful crystal in the detail and they're so easy to read from because you get the name of the crystal and then you get like the little quote affirmation message so get laser focused um i won't show you them all because this is just a kind of mini um run through of the decks but we have rose quartz open up your heart it's just um, if you want to learn crystal properties, I think you really can understand what the crystal is about. So this can help you to do card pulls, do readings for others, you know, if you want looking for healing. Um, I just love it when this, like, when the angel light comes out. Um, you will notice patterns, you may get the same repeat of cards a lot. But as you can see, it's just, I love the fact it's just very clear images of real crystals you know these are not um paintings it's you can tell they're like real crystals <laughs> so the next deck i have is called the crystal connections message cards by adam barrelet so i actually have two of his crystal decks i think his crystal decks are outstanding by far some of the best crystal decks I've ever come across. So this is 70 affirmation cards. So what I love about this deck is you don't get a, a booklet because you don't need it. You have the message, entire message written on the back of the cards. So this probably has to be one of my most used crystal decks, especially for self self development. Um, I cannot tell you how much I've connected with this deck. The messages are insane um, and I will go through that in a minute. But this is natural photography, which I think is beautiful. It's absolutely stunning. As you can see, each photograph is a real picture of nature, you know, um, the outdoors, so much greenery. And then you have that beautiful crystal just popping out in the middle. So it is, oh, look at this opal, my favorite crystal. It, the artwork is just beautiful absolutely stunning um pyrite popped out so we will read the back of the pyrite one <laughs> because it wanted to kind of speak but yeah it's it's beautiful um i cannot fault it um just beautiful beautiful crystals to work with here and so many of them so we have pyrite that come out so we have this beautiful pyrite cube Okay, and what this one says is stability is beneficial, being objective and rational will help create prosperity. Look at where you are losing money unnecessary. Networking will bring insight and opportunities. Value and heal what you have. Then once you have a stable base, build upon it. This will bring abundance now and in the future. Discover ways to cooperate and work with others. Avoid obsessing about perfection. Get your life and health in order. Find order in the chaos. I choose to cooperate and work in harmony with the world around me. So as you can see, there's three sections on the back of the card. So the first offers insight for what energies, opportunities and challenges are currently within your environment. The second section offers guidance for this time in line with the crystal's teachings. And then the third statement is an affirmation that reinforces the idea presented in the card. So yeah, I've had a lot of deep and personal messages with this. Um, 
yeah they have a lot a lot of personal deep messages behind each card so the next adam barrelette crystal deck i have is the crystal keepers oracle now i'm not sure if this is out of print i know it's it's quite hard to get hold of um this is unveil the wisdom from the crystal realms 45 cards so this deck um i love it and also you know there is something that annoys me about it at the same time so if you will see it is just crystals um the name of the crystal and you have like a scenery going on but you know there's no keyword so it's great for your intuition to just pull upon what you see what you're feeling but um i did like a keyword you know especially if you're trying to learn what a crystal is it's really great to know what is behind what is behind each story of the card so i actually stuck these like protective stickers on that can come off if i really pull so there will be no damage to the card because i didn't actually want to write on them but as you can see i've written what each card means okay so the letting go one is malachite so you can learn and study the deck this way if you do it the way the way i have but um it has some beautiful images like i cannot express how well the crystals have been used with these beautiful illustrations okay so i would recommend this crystal deck i love working with it like it's stunning um it's a unique crystal deck because you don't often see people or characters with a crystal so as you can see there's this blue laser gate and we've got gentleness written on the back so yeah if you can get your hands on this deck i would recommend it simply for the beauty to be honest but um it's very different i've not seen a crystal deck like this before so the next deck I have is called Astral Realms Crystal Oracle. Um, this is a very pretty deck. It's very pink. It's quite girly, feminine, and um, it has these kind of rose gold gilding. And this is the back. It kind of looks like um, a spirit quartz, like here so this is a nice deck to work with because you know the cards are numbered we have some astrological influences then we have a keyword and um, we have the crystal written on the side here um as you can see we have the north node so that's the astrological influence behind the card so you get a few things to work with but not only do you get to work with like numerology keywords crystals you have a scenery so as you can see there is a path here this tunnel we have flowers so there's so much you can actually pull rather than just the crystal so as you can see we have flower a gate i just love how the collage has been done of the crystals you have this eye so there is like things you can pull out and that's you know we've got a rainbow at the back here so I just think the, these cards are really great if you're looking for a bit of everything in one. Um, I would highly recommend this deck. I think it has some, some quite unusual crystals in here if I remember as well. I love a bit of black tourmalin. So we have the third eye chakra. So it, it, it is just a very well made deck I would say. So it's very dreamy ethereal kind of looking so the last deck i have is the 60 crystal oracle cards so this is actually from soul and spirit magazine um i actually got this as a present for one year at christmas and this got me into oracle cards at the time i didn't know anything about them this was before i even become a tarot reader and it's just insane to think that this deck is still with me now um it's just it's so beautiful so we're gonna go straight into this this is the backs of the cards and then we have a very zoomed in close-up 
of the crystal. So we can see all the inclusions, the veins, the rainbows, the phantoms. It's just, ah, oh, it's just everything you want to see in a crystal. So clearly we can see what the crystal is and then we have a beautiful message at the bottom. Okay, encourage love, kindness and compassion in others. This looks like a space, Azura, enhance your creativity, you have it within you. Feel the joy and happy energy deep within your soul. So as you can see, I just like the fact that this is a zoomed in image of the crystals. You know, very zoomed in and that's why I like that it's different to my other decks. So you can really work with the colours of the crystals, the patterns, we have Moldavite. And I do feel like they have a lot of powerful messages. Like, well, this was obviously a deck I'm going to keep forever because um, it was gifted to me by my mum. Um, and I've, I've worked with the deck. I love it. I connected with it. So if you connect with a deck, you know, that's all that matters. So I absolutely love this one. Now, there was one last crystal deck that I did just want to quickly mention only because it's one that I've been working with a lot recently in regards to crystal reiki that i've been doing and it is the chakra love raise your crystal vibrations and it's one of those mini pocket decks by rock pool so again there will be no guidebook there's no guidebook with this one either and as you can see we have the crystal pictures on the backs so as you can see this one looks like a labradori which it is and it tells you what chakra it's connected to. So Labrador is the third eye chakra. And it says dreams. Dreams are where your mind translates the divine. So it has perfect messages on there. But I love how colourful this deck is. It's great if you're working in Reiki, chakra healing, crystal work. Let's have a look at this one. Uh, we have Lapis Lazuli, expression. Express your true self. The world needs you. So as you can see, they all have messages at the back and very, very insightful. They can tell you how to basically heal certain parts of you. And that's what I like to use in Crystal Reiki to see what chakras to work on. It's very useful with clients, personal readings. Yeah, I um, I kind of had to kind of pop this in there, didn't I? So you get to get somewhere. It's got like this amazing like all over back in of multiple crystals so this is um the chakra balance ones so this is my top five plus a cheeky six in there but this is my top favorite most used crystal decks the ones that i recommend um so yeah hopefully you enjoyed this crystal topic of my oracle cards thank you so much for watching and i'm sending you so much love and light